Good afternoon. Yeah, we uncovered that state's attorney Kim Fox was still heavily involved in this case despite recusing herself. But those emails and texts, those heavily redacted emails and texts still conceal what led up to the decision to drop the charges. As Jussie Smollett went from victim to suspect, state's attorney Kim Fox recused herself after exchanging texts with a relative of Smollett's early on. Fox appointing her first assistant, Joe McGatz, to oversee the case. But in the 178 pages of text messages and more than 3,600 emails released by the state's attorney's office, an attorney in Fox's own office questions her colloquial recusal. She cannot simply direct someone, even the first assistant, to act in her stead. Even though Fox cited a potential conflict and was supposed to keep her distance, Fox sent texts revealing that she was very much involved, even referring to the charges against Smollett as excessive. She writes, so I'm recused, but when people accuse us of overcharging cases, 16 counts on a class four becomes exhibit A. Fox explaining her actions in a statement. After the indictment became public, I reached out to Joe to discuss reviewing office policies to assure consistencies in our charging. And around 5 p.m. the night before charges were dropped, Smollett's lawyer sent the state's attorney proof of community service and letters of support, which along with forfeiting 10 grand, was enough to wipe Smollett's record clean. But it's the redacted texts and emails preventing us from understanding why the charges were ultimately dropped. It adds on to the more questions that need to be asked, it, and it really cries out for more answers to, to come out of the state's attorney's office. Now, the state's attorney's office saying those redactions to the text and emails were to protect anything that had to do with the deliberative process. Live in the control room tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.